all right guys welcome back to the channel and to another episode of red dead redemption in last episode we met up with ross fordham we figured out dutch vandalin is in the area we actually saw dutch uh when he's robbing a bank he killed a poor woman I mean, McDougal, who we're going to see now, and the Stas, who unfortunately in the last mission got shot right in the forehead. So, McDougal is in quite a sorry state. He said it was the worst experience of his life, and um, we're going to see the state of him right now. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. I'm not, not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> Hello, old friend. I think that's Again. What they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor. We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? <laughs> I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. We're still here. Come on. Um. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? To stay down and shut up. Yeah. Shish. Shish and mish. No screaming, no shouting. We can get to the roof this way. John, help me, John. One more move, and he's a dead man. As the buzzer flies. <laughs> George, you took your sweet time. Christ alive, how many are there? We're completely surrounded. Shut 
Come on now. Beat me, bitch. I mean, do we turn around? I can easily turn around. No! But... Ah, oh, shut the horse. Trophy and long armor Marston? Okay. I don't think I've seen that one before. Right, press up and back. I was only joking about ditching you. Hurry! There's four of them! Giddy up! Come on! Soon, please, John! Jesus Christ, that one went to shit. Okay. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. Thank you. So long, Professor. So long, sir. Now, as I mentioned last episode about how him and the stars only have like limited screen time, which kind of sucks. It really does suck. Because I really like both the characters. Anyway, we're going to try and find a spot around here. This should do. Just be safe. We're going to save. There you go. And then we're going to go over to Ross. and black water. And you will know the truth. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. 
I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tribe, will you? Oh boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. Can't disagree with him. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. Sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderman to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in Edo? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Ah, oh, new car. Oh, with that. Now keep your finger off that trigger until. Okay, yeah, sharp. Don't care. Thank you. Captain, we spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm gonna come from over there for like the white dot is. I'm gonna come from around here. There they are! Open fire! Got this! Oh, this sure is crazy! What is it with these people? The thing about this thing is that it kills horses easily. Take him down! We should have done this a long time ago! Where are they coming from? They're like rats! 
probably kill more horses than I have them. is not accurate at all. Well, it doesn't help when this giant fucking thing's in the way. Scream. That wagon's out of control. It's coming straight out of our cavalry. Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the odds. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, men. Let's move out. Come! Who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. See, now it's telling me I can just go on my own. I don't need to follow them or accompany them. So, so I'm just gonna leave them in the dust. Come on! Whoa there!
Okay. Well, I forgot how long this like trip is. We're we getting there. I'm relieved having the dust. Once we get to accompany them, oh my god, that was too long. Why is my horse going over here then? Okay, that works. I'm not taking that shortcut. No, no. I like the music of this as well. Because, like, you know shit's about to go down. Like, we're about to end things once and for all. So we went, we weren't in the snow area, we went into the snow area to go out the snow area and now to go back into the snow area. Okay game, sure. I'll end this Dutch. Captain near the gate. Give me ammo, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. All right, men. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Up top! Cover them! Everyone 
Here it comes! You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. Looks like it's me and you, John. Once and for all. Nope. I took down Bill. I took down well. I didn't take down Javier. Where are you going now, Dutch? Scared? You'll never take me alive, John. I'll go that way. Shit, I've let up. Go on, John, quick. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. Where am I going? Ah, ladder. It's quite a camouflage ladder. Jesus. Oh, almost fell off. Come on, Dutch. Come on, Dutch. Let's have a friendly chat. Me and you. Just like old times, eh? Where you at? That Loki That's jumped me. That Loki made me jump. God damn it, Dutch. I just want a friendly chat, you know? Old friend to old friend. Now look who's at the end of the road. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. The first time the meme was said. This is a good one. I would love to have a full carry that. master. We would have had RDR2 graphics with Dutch looking like that. Because I've seen mods. That looks really yeah. good. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to, because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. Fucking hell, Dutch. Aye! That sound never gets better. Like, no matter how many times you hear it, just a... Uh thud of him of him hitting like the cliff so at the end you didn't have the guts to shoot him the man's dead ross sure can i see your gun
trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try no, before I say anything, well, I'm going to say it now. Let's go find somebody else. This next part life. I'm going to keep quiet for, because just like in Mexico, one of the best moments in the entire game. Let me just set the waypoint. No, it's not there currently, but when I say... This may be, if not better than the moment in Mexico, when you first go into Mexico. I'm, it, I mean it, alright? It's either better than, or literally right up there. Well, let's do it. Well, first of all, now, like, <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Now the waypoint has come up. Let's do this. Now I know the only compass that I need is the one leads back to you. And I know the only compass that I need. Always the one is back to you And the burning blisters on my feet will call To hold me as I'm close to fall Away from the home of your arms I stray Off the radar and into harm's way that I need Oh, is the one that leads back to you Coffee waves the hand again Coaxing letters from the pen But words just sit like empty scribbles Such empty caffeinated riddles My god, man. Okay. <laughs> that was such a bad timing for a voice crack. Oh, for God's sake. That's, that's becoming a short. That's becoming a short. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, voice. You had to ruin it, didn't you? <laughs> Did it voice crack again? Oh, I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm ending the video there. No, I'm just kidding. How long have we been recording for? 35 minutes. I've got time to do this mission, Abigail. Jesus Christ. As I was going to say, Rockstar nailed it. Everything about this game, soundtrack, everything. Ah, oh, for God's sake, my fucking voice. If, it, if that was it again, I... S <clears throat> oh, my God. I'm going to have an aneurysm. How many times the voice cracks? The Outlaws return. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Jack. 
Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And how they are. I left that life. Just as you left yours. How they treat you can definitely see the vast improvement in Abigail's so model in RDR2. When Gar got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Well, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Family reunited once again. Although I still think the RDR2 reunion was Jack. better. Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. Where's uncle? Me. There he is. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figure out. Is that out the which same voice? I don't know if that's the same voice actor from RDR2. Yeah. I don't think it is. Backpack, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. And I know just the place. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. Over in Hittigan Stead, who can sell us some? Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Yeah, I don't think it's the same voice actor for Uncle. I'm guessing they either had some difficulties or maybe the actor passed away or something. I don't know. Well, anyway, it looks like we're heading back to McFarlane's ranch when this loads into the next cutscene of John getting bit in the arm by a coyote or wolf. And now just some cactus. No PS5, but it's still a PS4 game. Technically, that's probably why loading times aren't as quick sometimes as in as in some other games. Here we are. Company Jack. Look at me, just in like actual clothes. Howdy, Paul. All right, we should get moving. Sorry, Jack. Come on. How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan Stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met him while I was away. The McFarland's are good people. 
We need folks we can trust right now. Met them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Yeah, Bill shot me, and I almost died. Don't tell your mother. Cool. Hey, Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that... that life... it's over now. Well, so we don't get shot at, like the last time I remember John and Jack had a little moment together. to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. I'll tell you one day, but not two day. So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Paul. Apart from the odd pack of drunks. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. There's the I'm ranch. I'm speaking oh, of their ranch. Let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. Whoa. Here he is. John Marston. Now, there's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. All right, Jack. You're going to have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? I'll do my best, sir. That's all I can ask. Let's go. Let's go. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So... You've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. John basically got off his horse for nothing. <laughs> Cheers, Bonnie. Good luck, John. Come back and see us sometime. So, what happened? Last I heard you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. It's a long 
long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Let's just say Bill and I settled our differences. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, the arrogance of youth. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> Must take after his father. Come on. Yeah, he does indeed. He does indeed. How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. Nah, John's just too much a gentleman. We need to move him across the river. Come. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we're gonna get shot at. Come on. Go. You're doing a good job, son. Just lead him straight up the hill towards home. Will do, Paul. Drive the herd to Beecher's Hope. That people up there. Jack, this don't look right. Stay back, son. I'll hold him off. Got damn rustlers. It's alright to be scared. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Okay, we still got all 15. Yeah. Still got all 15. I was worried someone would try to kill him. Is that them again? Yeah. Okay, no, it's not. I think I see it in the distance. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, 
There we go. Nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Easy. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're ranchers now? Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. All right. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you for the next one. Deuces.